Well, morning. Uh, it is the 5th of April. Yep, let me double check. Yep, it is the 5th. Uh, 2023, we're still running really well at the power dam. Uh, everything seems to be working great. So I'm really happy with the way things are going. We're still putting out about 750 kilowatts. Uh, the flow is really good. Got something to show you. Uh, yesterday, uh, on my way to check on a, a, a job, I uh, got a phone call from the post office. Let me show you what they what they had me pick up. That's twenty. Those are that's twenty. Uh, they're called golden laced wind up chicks. Uh, they are all female. They're all layers. Uh, <laughs> and we need them. We're getting kind of low. We're, uh, uh, we did have did have another lost another chicken yesterday or last night. Um, uh, at some point I'm not sure when. Uh, so we're down to eleven, and that's with two uh, two roosters. So uh, I did do some more uh, protection to this morning. Uh, went around the coop and and put up a couple boards where I think they're getting in. Uh, the problem is, it with this with this snow pack still on the ground, you know they could be going under the snow. They could be getting in anywhere. So, uh, just is just one of those things. Um, you just hate to see it. But you you would think the rooster would be doing something, huh? What are you two? But they're not. They're just kind of loafing around. Let's take you over and show you the river this morning. Lots of melt yet. Uh, everything's going really, you know, really quickly on the, as far as the snow goes. Driveway's getting really rough up to where there's a hole in the in the drive. I have not heard back from Bogle about anything there yet. You see, our flow is still heavy. We're, we're actually flowing over the uh, on that side over there. We've got decent flow coming down the, the, the falls. Most of that is going to be gone here shortly. Uh, most of that ice. Um, again, another day. Today is supposed to be again in the upper 40s, near 50. Uh, cloudy, though. Chance of rain uh, today, chance of rain tomorrow. Uh, and, you know, that should cut things down, too. Driveway is soft in spots, so we've got to be careful where we're where we're running, where we're driving. Uh, and that's just spring. <laughs> uh, it's better than uh, this. This spring is better than it has been, uh, simply because the frost didn't get down in the ground very far. So, you know that's a that's a plus. We're starting to see the rocks. Poke it up through the snow, which is a good sign. I don't know how solid this is. It is pretty solid. The in spots, but then you drop down. It, it's going to be it would be a challenge to walk over that way. I'm not going to do that. Turn around here. Probably still uh, across there. There's eight, ten inches of snow still setting there, so a lot of that'll be gone. You can see the spring is flowing really well. We're trying to uh, we'll be getting to that. Uh, I, I'm still running, feeding with uh, with water that I can get out of the plant, out of the uh, the pin stock. The, the new chicks are getting out of the spring. Boy, you guys are noisy. But uh, for the most part, things are flowing. Things are going well. You can see the, how much snow is melting. The, the, the water is just flowing hard. Uh, today I'm meeting up with the with the salesman we're going to go over a uh, 
uh, a furnace job that's, that's I'm, I'm quoting. Uh, everything in the house has been gutted, so it's not going to be terrible. Uh, and they're, you know, it's not like they're, they can't uh, make adjustments as they go. The other runoff is coming down really well yet. And you can see the patches of, uh, of uh, open yard, open lawn. I guess it's not, we wouldn't consider that a lawn, but it's open something or other. You see by the by the rock there, I got some water coming up out of there. It's probably coming up from underneath and running underneath these trees. The pipe seems to stop flowing, so it's probably clogged. That was a problem that I had with it. Anyways, we've got the uh, swing around this way. You can see uh, water coming off of the hill over there, running through over that way, and coming down to the end of the river. The river uh, on the tail race is, is still high. Uh, it is what it is. This is that's uh, where the spring waters run off and, and meet up at the river just down downstream a little bit. This is hey, look, it's a board. <laughs> uh, this is uh, I tried to fill up the uh, the tractor tires yesterday to no avail. Um, the what the, the air comes out is around the valve stems as fast as you put it in, so I'm gonna have to order some valve stems. Break the tires down and pull the inner tubes out. Not that I really want to, but I think I'm just gonna have to. Uh, I'll get my buddy Bill to help with that. He'll probably do that next week. Uh, that way I can get the tires filled up, get the chains back on it. Well, I can take the chains off till, till fall at this point. But, uh, I, you know, it just, uh, you just hate to have to do that. <laughs> we spent all that money to get it fixed. And, and uh, you know, it was 2000 bucks to put two tires on. Uh, and inner tubes. Well, I shouldn't have had the inner tubes. I should have put it, had them do them as tubeless tires. Live and learn. Be quiet. So, anyway, so that's where we're at today. Uh, other than the uh, after after I meet up with the salesman, he usually is up here by noon. So after I meet up with him, steal some of his time, I'll probably go up to uh, the job at Seville and vacuum out those airlines because I got the airlines. So I got the, the fittings for that, and we can get that done up and running. Uh... Yeah, all we need to do is vacuum those out. So that should take a couple hours. We could do that and see where we end up. Uh, yeah, I, I checked a, a, a water heater for guys indeed leaking. So uh, we, we got to get one ordered. Now, when the salesman here, I'll have him ship one up for tomorrow. Uh, cannot believe the price of water heaters. <laughs> Now, electric water, 40 gallon water heater for my supplier, uh, you know, is 875 bucks. So it is what it is. Uh, you know, by the time you add, uh, add shipping and handling and tax on top of that, then, then uh, you know, it gets up there quick. Uh, so we get that, we got that, that'll have to be coming. Then that doesn't include any, uh, in, any installation. Uh, usually about two hours of them so we're talking a couple hundred bucks for installation uh, if we've got to add pipe take away pipe all that's got to be added in there to, you know so that kind of stuff can add up quickly also so you know it, it's he's gonna spend eleven hundred dollars twelve hundred dollars for a 40 gallon of water here uh, not a whole lot I knew about it. 
Now, if he was going, he he did question about a 50 gallon water heater, and if he was going to do that, uh, if you're using 50 gallons of, of, of water, or you need 50 gallons of hot water, I highly recommend you go with, with an instantaneous water heater. Uh, it's going to cost you more money up front, but it's going to save you a ton of money in the long run. Uh, generally, a, 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 a two-bath house washer, dryer, or washer with the, uh, you know, a, a dishwasher, washer, clothes washer, <clears throat> Your 40 gallons is more than enough. Uh, you get over that and you start using more than 40 gallons, then, or, or you start getting a cold shower, or somebody takes extra long showers, or you're trying to fill, you know, if you've got a jacuzzi tub that takes 75 gallons of water, uh, the math doesn't work out there. So you definitely need, instead of going with a 50 or 60 gallon hot water tank go with the instantaneous uh it'll, it'll save you and then you're running running hot water all day long uh you can't you got to be careful with it. there's people that have uh, electric ones out there electric instantaneous water heaters uh they work uh they take a lot of power uh some of them are on, run on 60 amps which <laughs> It is a lot of power. Uh, and the only problem that I've seen it, it, in our area uh, is it has a 70 degree rise on the water temperature. Uh, so your, our groundwater temperature here is usually between 49 and 50 degrees. Uh, so you you add a 70 degree water to, water rise. Out of the hot water side, you're getting 120 gallon, 120 degree water, which would be you're like, oh, that's good, that's a nice shower. Except, as soon as you turn on the cold water to mix it in there, because you have to have in a mixing valve, you've got to have cold and hot. You now reduce your temperature down to about 105 degrees, and you might be able to get 110 out of it. Probably not. Uh, so. They don't work well for, for showers. Uh, here, uh, you get down, down south, uh, you know, where the water temperature coming out of the ground, six, 55, 60 degrees, you'll be fine. Uh, but here, it's just not, it's not practical enough for our, our water temperatures. Feed bag blowing around. It was on the tractor. It fell into the water, so you need to get rid of that. Anyways, go inside here where the chicks are. I don't know if you can. Uh, they're they're still pretty shy. They they don't make a lot of noise yet. <laughs> but anyways, so. Uh, it's going to take about 18 weeks for the eggs. For them to start laying eggs, 18 weeks is going to put us well into August. So uh, it is what it is. I can't do anything about it. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to start searching for uh, a few other chickens. Uh, maybe I can find some... some uh, production chicken layers or somebody's got some layers they want to get rid of or something to meet the gap. Uh, I hate buying eggs, but, you know, getting one or two eggs a day, uh, and that's, uh, you know, just not going to cut it. I could have started earlier, the, 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 started the flock earlier. The problem is it's still early for, for chicks now. Uh, that's why they're inside. Uh, but with the heat lamp, they still need to maintain a, a, a uh, you know, a good warm temperature. Eight, uh, right now it's 90 degrees for a week, and then you can drop it down a few degrees every week until they feather out. Uh, once they feather out, they can go outside. In my experience, when they start to feather out here, which would be, uh, you know, 
three, four weeks, uh, our, our temperatures outside are still going to be uh, cool at night. I mean, we still can see snow in, in, in middle May. So, uh, even if we, we push them back to Memorial Day, uh, they're, they're going to be still cool. So, they'll still have to have heat light once they move out into the coop. Uh, I'll keep that on until probably, uh, you know, the first 70 or 80 degree day. Once we hit that, they won't need it. Uh, or once they feather out well, uh, they really won't need it. Chicken's temperature is 105 degrees, so they're, they do fine. It's just that, you know, right now they still need uh, the heat from mom, so we supplement that with a heat light. But they are on a, uh, right now they're eating a, a, uh, a pellet that is a grower pellet uh, from, uh, from my supplier uh, and from Pool and Feed. And what I do with that is I put it in a, I have a neutral blender. Uh, don't, don't tell Juanita that I have a neutral blender down here, but I'll, uh, I, I throw the I throw the pellets into, into the neutral blender, and I, I hit them real quick, break them up to be a little finer powdery, then I put them in there, and they, and they eat that. Uh, Meyer Hatchery out of Polk, Ohio is where I get my chickens. Uh, they do send a supplemental pack that you mix up with a little bit of uh, two tablespoons of water to it. Uh, they had that. I did. Uh, and, I, and I mixed it a little thin, so they, they, they used, they drank that yesterday. Uh, that helps their, their, their grow a little bit, gives them more. doesn't give them, it gets just the, the vitamins and minerals is all it is. Uh, also, I put in uh, a, a little, this is not the one I like to use, but this is what they had. I like to use a, a organic apple cider vinegar. And then you want to have the mother in there. Uh, and I just give them a few drops in the water. And that helps uh, the digestion. Uh, it helps to get them uh, basically used to what we're at, where we're at. Helps, you know, because they, they travel. Uh, they had a very traumatic day yesterday, so, you know, that... That helps them. Anyhow, uh, so that's where we're at. I'll keep you updated on the chickens. Uh, we'll see what we can do and, and uh, do that. But uh, this is the, uh, here, there's the, there's the Meyer chicken box. Right there. That's the way, that's the way the chickens get shipped into. Uh, that, that was 20. They could have put 25 in there easily. Uh, but that's, uh, there's the Meyer Hatchery, the Polk, Ohio. Uh, why do I use them? Uh, I, you know, it's a smaller hatchery. Everybody likes the uh, the big hatchery. Uh, and and uh, there, these guys are just a little bit cheaper. They're just a little bit. Uh, uh, it's they're more more. It's a smaller operation, so it's more hands-on, more. Yeah, you call and you can talk to the owner. Uh, you know, uh, it's not uncommon to, to to call them and and that's who you're. You know, you're talking to the owner, or the owner's daughter, or you know, a family member of it. And it's a family-run business, so you, you usually. I've never had any issues with the with them. These chicks are doing well. Usually, you lose one or two. I've not lost any so far, so and it came in fine in shipping. So uh, a lot can happen in the next couple of days, but you know we'll keep an eye on it. But uh, it, there are people out there that have lost, you know, five, six, seven. You, you call them and they just send you send you some more. Anyways, great people to work with. Uh, really enjoy it. I mean. Uh, at one, at one point in time, I had, uh, uh, I don't remember what I did, but I did something stupid, something wrong, 
with an order and I, they wouldn't process. So uh, I called them and they worked with it. They fixed the, 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 the process all the, on their own and said, there, I got it. And uh, the chickens were on their way. So, uh, you know, even stupid stuff they fix. So uh, they can make one right. So even better. Anyways, um, my brooder is just a plastic coat. I, I, I bought it at Walmart for, for 12 bucks. I've got a bigger ones that I do use. Uh, but really at this time, this is all that I need. What I'll do is I'll take, once they start to feather out a little bit, a little bit, and uh, get ready to go into the, to the coop. I'll take the whole thing, I'll pull the water, water and feed out. I'll carry the whole thing out there and put it there. I'll, then I'll put the I'll put the tote in with them by the heat light so that they, they're used to that. That's that's home. So they know that's home and they, they can get right in there. Anyways, that's where we're at. Uh, I'm going to do some a little bit of work today. Uh, grand jury that was scheduled for tomorrow has been canceled again. Uh as I told you the other day. So that gives me a, an extra day of, of, of work. I'm supposed to be able to go to uh, the one house where where we put the boiler in. I uh, got a outdoor <coughs> sensor that needs to be installed. I'm gonna do some, try to do some uh, installation work underneath to get that done, if at all possible. So uh, that's supposed to happen. They're going to cut open one of the floors uh, today or to, to, towards the end of this week, and then we'll be able to get in there. All right. Well, that's pretty much what I've got for you today. Uh, you know, I'd I, uh, like to tell you some more, but there's really nothing else I can tell you. So you guys have a good day, and keep, out, keep an eye out for each other. Uh, really, that's all we got. All right, be safe.